She swings and hits the first one into left center field. Credo will score. They're going to send Beeble. She'll score standing up, and it's now 3 to 1 Western Illinois. Women joined under one name and one symbol, all together forming the Westerwinds of Western Illinois University. The name's history dating back to its roots in 1967 all came to an end after the 2008 2009 seasons came to a close. It began in 1927 when Rock Hansen applied to the Department of the Navy to ask for the nickname Leathernecks to be used at the university for the football team. Prior to that, we were considered the Fighting Teachers College. Um, and then, um, then he started coaching basketball and he was involved with the 10 second role in basketball. And so he allowed them the basketball team, the men's basketball team to use that. Once women's teams were formally organized at Western Illinois, they were under the AIAW, a league for women athletes. They wanted a name for their own that wasn't the male-oriented Leatherneck name. They decided to have a contest and involve the university, involve the county, and so they just threw it out there. Other names alongside the Westerwinds were names such as the Western Wheels, Western Spurs, Western Phillies, Western Nuggets, and the Western Pioneers. They um, asked the student athletes, they asked um, various constituencies on campus to then, from that list that was kind of generated, which, of, which are your top three? And the Western Wind won. With a name in place, history began to be built through conference titles, championships, tournament berths, and other various awards. Along with the history grew a tradition, a tradition women athletes prided themselves on and were extremely proud of all the way up into present day. They were very vested in this name. They wore it and they, they loved saying it. Um, two years ago, um, the women's soccer team at Western had a rap song um, built around it, designed around it from the baseball players. I mean, so there is acceptance all over. With so much acceptance and pride behind the name, women athletes were shocked by the university when the change was officially announced. The Westerwind's name ending, and the Fighting Leathernecks, the new name for all Western Illinois athletes. It was important because that was part of our identity and who we were and the players who had been before, that was the name that they were associated with and so to change it kind of felt like they were taking their identity. But then again there were other female athletes who wanted it to be changed. So it was kind of even split between the female athletes too. Although there were mixed emotions among women athletes, for one team, women's soccer, there were no questions on what name they wanted on their uniforms. For me personally, I was not happy about it, and I don't think my team was very happy about it either. We were really proud to be Westerwinds, and we'd taken the name and just kind of ran with it. And so in all our emails over the summer to one another, we would cross out Leathernecks and still put Westerwinds. And um, so we weren't very happy about it. The change was not completely accepted until one player came forward with a story. A story about her brother, a Marine, changing emotions and the pride behind their new name, Fighting Leathernecks. It was important to me. I kind of knew some background information about it and I shared it with the team. And I think a lot of people didn't really know what truly being a Leatherneck means until we kind of talked about it. And I talked with my brother about what it truly means to be a Leatherneck. He's a Marine, so he knows, and um, all of the qualities of a ladder deck are something that everyone should uphold, so. During a team meeting, the players learn the true meaning of a leather neck and the qualities the name holds. Being loyal, always, uh, never leaving anyone behind, so in a team aspect, that's really important that you're only as good as your weakest link, and um, that's so important in a team aspect, and just loyalty again, dedication, hard work, all those things are symbolized a Leatherneck. Although it may be a tough transition for some, the Leatherneck name will proudly be displayed by both men's and women's athletic teams starting in their 2009 season. The Westerwind's name may have been changed, but it will not be forgotten. I will have both names a part of me when I think back to Western, and um, the wins will forever be a part of me. We're still wins at heart, we're always going to be. For WIU TV3, I'm Kevin Pomazal.